so uh, last time we left uh, this puzzle thingy and uh, I'm not even sure that I remembered it we probably will have to jump across anyways but yeah yeah we'll have to jump across now I remember still I don't know how oh, let's do this Okay, let's see what this does. <sighs> that statue moved. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I think if I step on one of... I don't know which one now. But uh, the statue is probably going to kill me. Well, there stairs. Uh huh. It's not an allow you. Well, gotta try. Oh shit, statue moved again. Uh huh. One, two, three. Wait a minute. <laughs> uh. Okay, one, two, three, smash. One, two. Three, smash. How about this? One. Two, three. Ooh, that was close. One, two. My God, I'm gonna die. I oh, know, I didn't die. Oh, yeah, right. that's the. I think that did it. That's the Come easy on one. Now Coming. I remember. Watch out the axe. Did I get Wakely, you? there no. will be a more complicated no. one later on. Who's this? No? Not even a collectible? Come on. Come on. Goodness sake. Ah, uh, you wanted to see it for fuck's now. sake. Don't be shy. A star and rings. They're all boy Salah sun symbols, but I like your description. Oh shit, uh, three of those. Whew. Like I said, okay. One. One. Ah, near miss there. Same thing. I oh, know three. They go simultaneously, okay. So now, wait a minute.
That's okay. Better be. Oh no. Why three times? And four. Jesus. Uh, figured we had one more to go. How did you know that? Everything always comes in three. Uh, okay, this is uh, what kind of a flower or something. Oh my god, they are, they are spinning. So, when I step on the one on the right, that means both of them. Which way? <sighs> okay, so far so good. For four, which one? Uh, stars. Ay, 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 ay. Back, maybe? <laughs> I need to go back. No, he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna kill us if wait 
What if I go to him? Now back. Another one with the axe. Let's make an axe. Oh, what the hell? That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Shiva. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. <laughs> oh, shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. <sighs> Here we go. There'd be water. Now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? My partner tends my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with a bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. I was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want Asav to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. Let's head back to the car. Gotta love a shortcut. Glad we don't have to go back to where we came. I would have made you dodge the axes. <laughs> Come on. Time to do it. Right. Look, for what it's worth, it's your kick ass reputation that got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use some money. 
You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. <laughs> Too rot. Not many of us out here. Not many of us out here, right? Where are we? Okay, gotta go left. This one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Uh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away, just be done with Shoreline? I was born into it. I don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice. Care to join me? Right behind you. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to come here. It's for the medallions. Where is the waterfall thingy? Oh, it's over there. Alrighty, let's roll. <laughs> easy ladies, easy. Okay, well, let me have a look. Uh, all the way to the right. I was hoping they get bored and leave. Probably won't unless we ask nicely. Okay, what the hell am I? Woo! I need to keep an eye on it. Okay, there is a Kind of a bridge. I need to go up on the bridge. Ah, oh, he's over there. No, no, no. I gotta go up here, yeah, yeah, yeah. This way. Can we make this? Uh, up here. Yeah, it's here. Big as a wheel. How long do you suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. The Hoi Sala certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. 
had to. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. But their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know yet. But, I'm guessing, we should give that a try. Should we dance? Try not to break it this time. Sassy. <laughs> You ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. Do they have here a King Kong? Oh my god. Wow. <sighs> Welcome to downtown Halabadoo. Last known resting place, Tusk of Ganesh. Spectacular. Hmm. And what? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? It must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm. Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Halibadu? Maybe their king should have used their wealth to protect his people and not make such an inviting target. way up.
Aha. Right into his hand. My apologies. Come on, this way. You sure it's safe? You know, you keep asking me that. It'll save us both some time. Oh, he's dead! Oh, oh, oh boy. It's definitely not safe, by the way. I saw. <laughs> Think you can get back up here? Yeah. Keep going. I'll catch up. <laughs> Well, yeah, I've got you. All right, if I saw a woman in real life uh, climbing like that, I'd be probably like, Will you marry me? But only because you said, Please, I didn't actually. I thought you said Ganesh was the remover of obstacles. He's more than happy to place them in your way if he thinks you'll benefit. That why the horse and I chose him for Halibidu. He's also the Lord of Good Fortune, the one you pray to for prosperity and success. Got it. That's cool. Oh, shit. Yep. Okay. Where are we going? You having fun out there? You know it. Oh, shit. Look at that. Good way or bad way? I'll let you know. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Got it. You're doing great, China. I'll be doing better when we get to the farm. Surprise we haven't seen this art yet. Knock on wood. Oh, he's around. Galt will see him up here. Why is that? He doesn't have a stones to climb this high. <laughs> wow, I mean like I think I see a place we can swing over to the crown. Just a little farther to go. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, thank you. Hurry up and climb. I'm slipping. Nice view. Worth it. Impressive. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh. How do we get off this thing? Okay. Easy does it. Sturdy up here. Don't jinx us. Here's our way in. 
courtesy of the Persian army. Wow, nice shot. The Persians must have had a trebuchet. Trebuchet? Can't you just say catapult like a normal person? A trebuchet is a type of catapult. It can handle heavier projectiles, like this one, and fling them longer distances. Right. You learned that in your military training? I looked it up on Wikipedia, like a normal person. Ready? After you. <laughs> Incredible. It's our old friends. Parashurama and Ganesh. Well, when the Hindu gods aren't off fighting demons, they're sometimes fighting each other. I guess it's not really his style. Looks like it. They barricaded the door. Didn't do them much good. Guess they didn't expect the Persians to drop in from above. You'd think after two prior invasions they'd be prepared for anything. Or they just never thought they'd be defeated. Through here. Oh, would you look at that? Hey, look, our moments. You were right, Nadine. I have my moments. This all Persian? Now we're getting somewhere. Hey, another one of these doors. Now let's see. Oh, good. This one actually works. Whoa. There we go. Nice to get some light. Feels like a crypt in here. Crypts and burials aren't really a Hindu thing. They generally favor cremation. It's a beautiful ceremony, Antiyishti, Sanskrit for last sacrifice. Sacrifice? The idea is our bodies are merely borrowed vehicles and you're returning it so that others might benefit. It's a lovely sentiment. Too late for these poor bastards. Hey, up here. <laughs> Final stand. Oh, wasn't enough to save their empire. But their loss is our gain. Here's our way in. Nadine, can you lend a hand with this chap? Sure. Come on, old fellow. There we go. Excuse me. Sorry. We must be getting close. Hopefully closer than these guys. Looks familiar. Let's hope it doesn't turn on too many. Oh. Well, that's different. What is all this? If I had a guess, I'd say it's some kind of lock mechanism to open that door. Okay, on the left we have Shiva gifting Parashurama the axe, and on the right we have Parashurama chopping off Ganesha's tusk. Wait, with the X? Yeah. The one that Shiva, Ganesh's father, gave to Parashurama? Yeah. <laughs> it's messed up. That's family. Come on, let's see about opening that door. 
So how does all...